M19 Virgil. As Dante again. Cool. I think there's only two more missions. So I'll probably be able to do those before I'm supposed to switch to the next game. Not that I'm supposed to do anything. I, I do this all because I want to. Um, but I'm planning on doing some Minecraft for, like, some chill stuff hey, while Virgil. Valhalla continues Before to download, so over. hopefully I can do that. Give me the Amato. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. But you already knew that. I had a feeling you'd say that. How many times have we fought? Hard to say. It's the only memory I have of us since we were kids. <laughs> Time to finish this, Virgil! <clears throat> Once and for all. I won't lose to the likes of you. I'm barely taking any of his health here. Oh. Uh. 
the hell? Jeez. He's so fast. Let me move. Let me move. Holy shit. I don't like swearing, but holy crap, he's so powerful. a duplicate. Does the duplicate ever go away, or do I have to take... I have to take the duplicate's health, too? Not cool. Oh, 
So close to death. Holy crap. I really wish I was better at this. Out of gold orbs. I was spamming. I was spamming Trickster. They're all out of my reach. That's not cool, bro. And I don't want to buy more red orbs. That's not cool, dude. That's how it ends. That's not cool, man. I was spamming the trickster button. Like insane spamming it. I won't lose to the likes of you, little brother. Boy, no. Broke my guard. Stop. Foolishness. Is rushing in blind all you can do? It's just about time to serve. That's right. Come on.
his devil trigger also lasts for so long. Massive amount of red orbs spent, but my son means nothing.
finally. Cool, cool, cool. What? Nero is my son. Yeah, dumbass. You can't remember through that thick skull of yours? Well, well. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I guess you were young once, too. As much as I'd love to hear that story, I think it's about time we ended this. Hey, it's Nero. That was cool. I got a C ranking. M20, true power. When I was a kid, I, I was alone. You and Cradle were all I knew. And now all of a sudden I find out I have a family. What am I supposed to do with that? You always know which path is right and which is wrong. There's no need to doubt yourself. I guess that's all I needed to hear. I have one last thing to take care of. And then I'm coming home. I couldn't protect Kratos. myself for not having enough strength. But this time is different. I swear! It's an anime moment where, through the power of friendship, you level up eight levels. Kill each other. 
There are other ways of settling your differences. I'm putting a stop to this sibling rivalry. <laughs> ah, you came all this way just for that. Virgil, V, whatever you call yourself. Dante's not gonna die here, and neither are you. Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> not gonna die my ass. Oh, that bitch slap nearly killed me. <clears throat> if I beat Nero, then by default, I beat you, agreed Dante. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna sit this one out. <laughs> <laughs> RT near a staggered enemy to perform a buster. Holy crap! Nero's supposed to be, like, all-powerful now, but I don't feel more powerful. Like, Dante has the trickster, so I can, like... It's easier to get up to... Oh, wait, I forget. I Does my arm grapple thing still work? I honestly have no idea.
Dante's moveset was so much better for this. just happened. I'm so confused. The game took a sharp fine to beating my father till he loves me. I mean, yeah. That's all you really need to get your father's love, guys. Just beat him. Dante's moveset is just so much better for this fight. The Trickster in the Royal Guard is just so much better for this particular fight. I still think I like Nero the most out of all characters. Has nothing to do with you. Stand down. Nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with me. Fuck you. I'm just about to do that move. fight is a lot more difficult because of the heals. Dodge right into him. He moves too fast.
I don't have enough red orbs for this fight. The last judgment draweth nigh. This has nothing to do with you. Stand Fuck you! Take me seriously now? About to do it. You know I had to do it to him. I'm doing better this fight. And now there's this. Okay. Okay, I dodged too soon. I dodged way too soon. The infinite devil trigger is helping, though. Yes. 
Whew. That fight was difficult. Interesting. <laughs> oh, brother. You cut off your own son's arm for more power, and you still lost. <laughs> Enough, damn it. The underworld is taking over. We need to do something before it's too late. He's right. We need to close that portal. Hey, you lost, so you better do what he says. I can still fight. But if those roots continue to spread through town, it'll just interfere with our business. Now, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. Better hurry up. We still got a score to settle. Evidently. Wait! Where are you going? We need to sever the Clyphod roots from the underworld itself. Then we'll seal the portal with the Yamato. Hang on. If you do that, you can't come back. Why do you think I'm going? Somebody's got to keep an eye on your old man. <laughs> you can't just expect me to stay here while you both go It's away. because you're here we can go. We're trusting you with things on this side. Capiche? Make haste, Dante. Yeah, I know. Hey, wait! Nero, you hothead, just set this one out. Take care, Nero. Adios. I won't lose next time. Hold on to that until then. I'm kind of surprised Nero picked that up with his wrong arm. You'd think spending so much time one-armed, he'd, like, use the other one by default for basically everything. I'm sad to see this game is almost over, though. I've been enjoying it a lot. Shock. About what? Uh, duh. Your arm? Who the hell grows an arm back? It's just weird. It's like a lizard tail or something. Look, I don't know. It just grew. Ugh. I mean, are you kidding me? Lots of weird stuff happened. There were demons and scary plant roots and arms growing back. Lots of stuff. Do you know how much love and care I put in that devil breaker? <sighs> nope. This arm, it's nice. So, uh, how's it feel? How's what feel? Saving the man who killed your own father. Heard Dante killed Virgil once. It doesn't matter. They're both gone now anyway. It's okay to cry. If you want, Nero, over a loss. Not cry. It doesn't make you a cry, baby. It does make you a little bitch, though. There it is. You think I'm a demon? I didn't cry when my asshole daddy died. But... Yeah, I know, I know. I wouldn't be here without it, that's a biological fact. Right. All I'm saying is, tough guy, it's okay to cry if you want. Do not cry. cry. 
Devil's crap. I'm not gonna Killing's try. Crap? Will you Meow. shut up? Will Bobby's you stop? Crap? It? Look at you. You're no. What? Why are you crying? Crying my shoulder. Right? Stop Devil saying cry. Devil's crap. My shoulder. I know you, you wanna. You say cry again. Devil may cry. Fuck. <laughs> you said it. Hey, kitty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm coming home. Oh yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I got a surprise for you. Oh yeah, he's got a huge surprise. Will you shut up. <laughs> no, 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 Kitty, not you, Nico. You know, and a big mouth. <laughs> what the hell's your problem? Where'd you learn to drive? Mm. Hey, uh, sorry, I gotta call you later. It's time to get back to work. Mm-hmm. Got an arm. You're good. It's a prototype, and this is the perfect place to test it out. Look, you're gonna use it, and it's, it's a work of art. Gotcha. And it ain't complete without you. Well, how sweet. Feels good. Oh, he can like summon and de-summon the arm. That's kind of cool. You'll get fixed as soon as we get back. Devil's cry, huh? Let's hear what that sounds like! Gotta let it out, gotta let it out! I love this game. That was so good. Come on, come on! Oh, this is such a great game. I had so much fun with it. It was like... I don't know how to describe it. Like, I've, I've never beaten a game, like, on any channel before, so I don't know, like, what people expect. Like, do they want to run down of things I enjoyed, things I thought they could do better, or... Like, I just had fun. You leave for a few minutes and I finish the game? I've said it for a while now. We're approaching the end. I'm more than capable of handling this on my own. You're gonna need some help. And someone to keep an eye on you. You didn't see the end cutscenes? Mostly it was just Nico bullying Nero.
still looking for your fight with me. I don't want to talk. And then this is, I think, the proper end of the game. Just the credits. But that game was just, like... <laughs> I haven't played a lot of Devil May Cry. The only Devil May Cry I've actually played until the end is the reboot. So it had nothing to do with this. So a lot of these characters, like... What this game had to do is it had to introduce me to these characters. It had to make me fall in love with these characters. It had to show me a good combat system. Like, this game had to do a lot. And, like, the actual D&D &D community... Not D and D, DMC. <laughs> the actual Devil May Cry community, like they hated the reboot, but because the reboot is what brought me into the game, um, like it had to live up to the standard that the reboot set. And while the reboot was a little hit or miss in a lot of areas, gen generally it was a pretty good game. It was like easily seven out of ten, and like. Most of that score comes from the fact that the combat was one of the best combats I've ever played. Uh, this one, I think... I don't know if I would... I think I'd put it above that combat. But also, the two, the two combats are very different, too. Uh, in... In the reboot, the combat... A lot of people say it's dulled down. I don't fully agree with that. It has... It's... It's a little bit more... It's almost like Assassin's Creed Origins in a way, but more of the stylish sort of combat you see in this game. Where you had a heavy attack and a light attack. And then you switched between... Eight different weapons. Um... Because he got three types of gun. A... Dart gun which you could put exploding darts into enemies and then wait until your right moment to make it explode. You had ebony and ivory, and then you had a shotgun for your guns. Then he had angel and demon weapons. Uh, the angel weapons were light, but good for uh, crowd control. The demon weapons were heavy, but good for single target damage. And then rebellion was right in the middle there. It was perfectly balanced as all things should be. Um, so, like, the the two combats are different. This one focuses a lot more on the lock-on mechanic. Because, like, with this game, you want to you wanna be switching between locking on and, lo and not locking on for abilities. Because as soon as you're locked on and you use your, dev your Devil Breaker as Nero, you hook them and bring them towards you. Uh, but if you're not locked on, you use the Devil Breaker ability. Um... So the combat, the combat in that one, I think, is easier just for, like, not necessarily, not necessarily less button input, but less, like, precision button input. Like, in this game, they have a lot of back-to-forward moves, but I don't use those moves a lot, because the game sometimes doesn't always register that I did back-to-forward real quick. So, it has, like... If I do a back to forward, sometimes it just registers the forward. Uh, so it's harder to do those moves. While with uh, the reboot, you would toggle between a light attack and a heavy attack, or three light attacks, a pause, and then a light attack again would do a combo. Um, so I think I think I like the, the reboot's combat mechanics just a little bit more because I feel like there's a little bit more consistency there. But I really liked this game. This game was easily better because even though the combat was a little bit different, uh, like the combats of the two game, I think I would rank the reboot just slightly higher for my personal play style. But then like the story in this, the visuals, how everything looked, how everything felt, it was so much better. Um, so I think out of the two games, this one is better.
but that's not to say like this this game had i came into it with like an incredibly high bar of what i what devil may cry should be because having spent time in as part of the devil may cry community on reddit um which isn't always the best idea the devil may cry community on reddit is a little bit wonky but having spent so much time there having like he hearing them talk about like the older devil may cries like they set such an incredibly high bar for what the original games were and to the most part i think this game totally hit it had i come into this game with no expectations though i think i'd still love this game um but I don't think I'd like it more. It's kind of hard to say, but this game was incredibly good. New mode unlocked Son of Sparta. I'm not gonna can like I'm gonna come into this game occasionally now on, but I'm not gonna play through the entire game again. Nero's demonic right arm has been restored. He can now bring both now use both Devil Bringer and Devil Trigger. Dante's blades. Dante can equipped Rebellion, Sparta. Or the Devil Sword Dante on the customized screen. In Nico's report, the enemy reports have expanded to include photos capturing the moment of an enemy's defeat. Costume changes are now reflected on the title screen. The last costume you played will be shown. Cool. 